in our previous steps, we did a few things. We added the dud to our fixture. We added hardware to make sure that it was properly aligned and located. And we mapped the dud's test points to pogo pins on the TPCBA. In this step, we'll import the DXF CAD model of the TPCB from the previous step. And then we're going to lay out components to their locations as shown by CAD. You can see the components in their proper locations from the CAD model. So now you can see that we must translate them in the layout program. You can see here where we added positions for the power connector. And now we're going to add the mounting holes for the alignment pins. And then we'll move on to other critical components like the MTM connectors and the pogo pins. From here, we're going to fast forward the placement specifics as we route the remainder of the board according to the test plan circuit schematic. At this point, all of our critical components are now laid out on the TPCB. So now we can go ahead and get rid of the place holders that we had from the CAD DXF file in the earlier step. With the placeholders gone, now we can go ahead and re-enable the layers for the actual TPCB components. At this point, the next step is really to route the test point carrier board, but we won't cover that in this video. But as far as the fixture design is concerned, our next step will be to verify everything that we've done in the physical layout program against the CAD model that we generated previously.